Hey Cloud Gamers, now GeForce Now is officially available in the Chrome browser. We thought we'd have a look to see how much of a difference there is between the app and the Chrome version. So using Cyberpunk 2077 here as a test, you can see I've got everything set to high with ray tracing on and DLSS on performance mode. Side by side then, as we're just looking around, we don't see a lot of difference. A little bit of pixelation and cracks on the floor there on the Chrome version, but generally if you look at the colours, the colours actually seem to be a bit better on the Chrome version for some reason. Not quite sure why this is, but it is looking extremely good, and I think I actually prefer the colours on the Chrome version. As we hop into the car, you're going to notice that a little bit more. If you look at the back of the car here, and also the banners as we come down the road, it seems much more vibrant, and weirdly the car looks actually clearer on the Chrome version than the app version. As we freeze here, ignoring the slight daytime difference, the car still looks clearer and those reflections look a little bit smoother on the chrome side. And also looking at the background just looks a little bit clearer. I'm not quite sure how chrome is rendering this better than a native app, but it certainly seems that way. As we look at chrome full screen, you really wouldn't be able to tell that this wasn't running a native app. As we switch back over to the app version then, Again, we see a little bit more kind of blurriness around the edges of the objects here, and it does seem to drop that FPS a little bit more, or it's just a little bit more obvious. It is dipping into the high 20s periodically in the town driving around here, but with the tweak to the motion blur and abrasion, you'll be able to keep that above 30 quite happily. Again, side by side as we're running down the pavement here, Chrome just seems smoother. Um, I'm not sure why we seem to see more head bob or jerkiness with the app side, but again, looking at Chrome full screen, it's very smooth moving around and these details really seem to pop on the colour side. As we go back to the app side, again, it just feels a bit more janky to me, I'm not sure why, it just doesn't seem as smooth, but all in all, it's still a great way to play. As we show a little bit of the combat, again, Colours looking absolutely fantastic on Chrome and no input lag on either. So Chrome does seem like the best way to actually play GeForce Now right now, as long as you don't want all of the extra abilities. So the side menu is out of action in the Chrome version currently. So there'll be no recording or screenshotting or highlights by the looks of it at the moment in the Chrome versions. Highlights might work on supported games, but I haven't got around to testing that yet, so we'll certainly have a look. But the other functions like photo mode and recording are definitely off the table in Chrome right now. So if you do want these abilities, you will still need to use the app version. Otherwise, Chrome is a very good way to play GeForce Now right now, and it's certainly got the convenience factor. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Chrome version and whether you're going to be using that moving forwards or whether you're still going to stick with the native apps. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and we will see you next time.